Last week I played some of the most secret hidden Google games on the internet. Well, you guys told me I missed a bunch of them, so today we're back for some new ones. Okay, so the first secret Google game that I didn't play last week is the Dino game. Basically, you guys yelled at me and were like, Brandon, that's the most popular Google game that everybody knows. Basically, when you don't have internet, you can play this little Dino game. So let me hit space to get started. I have not played this game in years. So you control this little, oh gosh, wow. Okay, this is harder than I remember. I need to play this again. What, let me know in the comments, what is your high score in the dino game? I want to... I don't even know what a good high score is. I'm going to try to get... I don't know. 500. I'm going to try to get 500. I feel like... Oh, it's getting faster. Oh, it's getting faster. And the cacti... There's more and more cacti every time I'm jumping. All right. I got two... Oh, there's birds? Are there birds? I thought it was just a dinosaur and cacti. Oh, gosh. There's... How do I get... What? How do I get past the birds? Was I supposed to jump over that thing? Or can I go la- Can I go- Oh, I can duck. I did not know that I can duck in this game. Oh my gosh. All right. Apparently as a kid, I had internet a lot because I didn't really play this game very often. All right, here we go. I got to get 500. Again, let me know in the comments what your high score is. If any of you guys beat 500, I'm very impressed. All right. So I think I have to duck under the birds- Oh, except for that one. And except for that one. All right. So there's just, there's no pattern in this game. I just have to see what's going on and, and react to it. Uh, I'm almost at 500. I'm almost at 500. Come on, baby. 500. Yeah. All right. I beat the score that I wanted to get. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. What should we name this guy? I'm going to name him Dino. Yeah, it's Dino the Dino. Okay, this is getting so fast. I can't even focus. Why is everything white now? Oh gosh. All right. This is getting stressful. Stressful. All right. If I hit one wrong button, I am dead. Dino is done. I hit the wrong button. Oh, I was almost at a thousand. All right. 929. Let me know in the comments who beat that. Okay. Moving on to the next secret game. I don't know why I did this. I'm just, I'm really excited to play these Google games. This is Google Snake, which by the way, if you guys want to see more of these secret games, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel right now. All right. I'm going to hit play. Is this just normal snake? Yes. Okay. So we got to eat the apples. And we can't overlap with ourselves or run into the wall. All right, this doesn't sound too bad. All right, right away, they're hitting me with an apple on the wall. The ones on the wall are really difficult. Okay, down and up. Beautiful. I like the sound it makes. It's like a real bite of an apple. This snake has eaten a lot of apples, by the way. It's a pretty hungry snake, apparently. This is one that I never played. Honestly, the only Google games that I ever played as a kid... I did play the dino, I did play the dino game a little bit, even though I was really bad. And I also played the Google Pac-Man, which was in my last Google games video. Oh gosh. All right. See now, now it's starting to get tough. Now I need to, you know, organize my little snake here, which by the way, what are we going to name this snake now? Oh gosh. All right. We named the last guy Dino. Let's name this guy Gino. I don't know. It has nothing to do with a dinosaur, but that's totally fine. Up, down. Okay, good. I'm at 26 apples, about to be 27. Again, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments how many apples you guys have eaten in this game. Whoa, that was like a rapid fire there. That was a little rapid fire. All right, this is what I want to do. I want to keep a nice, even snake. That way I don't take up a lot of space and I won't run into myself. All right. I'm doing great. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I almost cornered myself. I almost cornered myself there. Let's go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back on track. Back on track. All right. Gino is a very large individual. Okay. I have never eaten 39 apples uh, ever. I don't think anyone's ever eaten 39 apples in one sitting. That's actually impressive. All right. Here we go. We're at 40, guys. So far... So gooey. Oh, by the way, um, I keep saying this, but make sure you guys subscribe to my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. Uh, we're almost at a million subscribers. So make sure you guys go to that channel and subscribe right now. You guys, oh, darn it, darn it. I was, I was distracted by promoting TFG Vlogs and I died. All right, 45 apples. That's pretty darn good in my book. All right, the next game is called... Garden gnomes. 
you guys told me this is a little bit like, um, uh, Angry Birds, kind of? Basically, I fling a garden gnome a little history before we play our game. Back in the 19th century Germany, Thuringa, to be precise, garden gnomes were hand-sculpted by professionals. Oh. They were then turned into molds for manufacturing. These molds were filled with quality clay. Okay, yo, this is cool. This is fun. And made strong and durable. They were then beautifully hand-painted and prepared to decorate and protect gardens all over. Okay, I, I couldn't really read that fast, but I'm loving this. All right, space bar and click. All right, I can do that. I can do that. So basically, I want to launch this adorable garden gnome really far. All right, let's go space and click. Hey, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. 88? Is that 88 feet? 88 meters? 88 inches? I don't know. I don't know how far that is, but that's not bad. Uh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right. Oh, can I select another character? Oh! All right, let's launch this lady. Ready? Launch! Uh-oh, that might be a little too high. I think I launched a little too early. Oh! Right. I meant to do that. I told... What does this button do? I just got 282! I'm gonna call it meters. I don't know exactly what we're doing. All right, let's try this again. Apparently there's like power up areas if you land somewhere. All right, here we go. I like this guy. He's short, he's wide, he's got a large mustache. Let's launch him. Ah, uh, I went too high again. I went too high again. Ah, uh, I feel like if he hit that mushroom, it would have been good. That was my worst one yet. Oh, uh, let's try this again. Let's go with this lady. Ready, go! Oh, no, that's a missile! Oh. Oh, baby. What does this do? I don't know what that does. Oh, come on. Come on, keep going, lady! Oh, I hit like a magical cloud! I'm gonna hit 500. Yo, guys, let me know in the comments, what is your high score in this game? Good luck beating this one, man! 655! I mean, there is no way I ever beat that again. I'm going to end on that one. Let's go to the next Google game. That was, that was awesome. Okay, this next one is called Coding for Carrots. Basically, this is like a very basic introduction to computer coding. At least I think so. Let's get to the party. Collect carrots on the way using code blocks. Place the arrows in the tray to make me hop forward. Okay, so, arrow, 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 and now hit play. Did that work? Wait, what? I think I want to go forward two. I don't want to go too far or else he's going to fall off. So let's go one, two. Okay, I get it, I get it. So each obstacle course is going to get harder and harder. I see, I see. All right, so we're going to want to go... Wait, we're gonna, I get it, I get it, I get it. So we're gonna go, um, up to turn around once, and then go forward two more, I think. Yeah, all right. This, this, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, a rabbit is gonna be eating some carrots today. Uh, apparently I am the greatest uh, computer coder in the world. Oh no. I don't know what that thing does. I don't know what that thing does. We're just going to go up to. We're going to turn. We're going to go up. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. How do I go back? Can I not go back? All right, there we go. We're going to turn. We're going to go two more. Then we're going to turn. We're going to go two more. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. Wait. Oh, I can keep going. Turn. Two more. I think that's it. Turn. Good. Good. Did I not win? Did I not win? I think I won. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like the look of this one. This is level four. But things are getting a lot harder. What does this do? I wonder if that just, like, repeats what you did before. Let's try it. We're gonna go one, two. We're gonna turn. Then we're gonna repeat the process. Right? We're gonna go one, two, turn. I'm just gonna hit play. 
turn. No, I don't like... I don't know what those orange things are, but I don't like them. I don't like them. Can I take these out? All right, let's go up to... Turn. Up to... Oh, goodness. Uh, the... To turn and then turn the other way. Oh, I don't know if I'm learning computer coding. I think I'm just getting a headache right now. Oh, gosh. I'm just going to do that and give it a go. Hopefully, this will work. It probably won't. Here we go. Ready, play. Up to turn. Up to turn. Up to turn. Then you go all the way down. Oh! No! I was one carrot away! Oh, I was this close to becoming the world's greatest computer coder. Okay, this one is called Jerry Lawson's Birthday. And you guys told me it's a lot like the game Mario Maker. This is Jerry Lawson. Press the arrow keys to move. Okay, so space to jump. Jerry got his start building arcade games in his garage. I didn't read the rest of it. I assume I want to collect these. He soon became one of the first black engineers to work. I can't read that fast. I can't read that fast. In 1976, Jerry led the team that developed the revolutionary first video game. Couldn't read that fast. I could not read that fast. Apparently, Jerry Lawson was a very quick reader. Jerry's uh, work unlocked a whole new way for everyone to play and enjoy video games, including you. Tap the pencil to enter edit mode. What? Oh, I could like build blocks and then use that to go farther in the game. Oh, I like that. Now you're ready to build your own games just like Jerry. Oh. All right, let's try um let's try this one. This one looks fun. Oh no. This isn't Jerry anymore. I don't know who this is. This is Jerry's wife Mary. Okay, uh, let's go there. Let's use that to jump. Okay, not too bad. So, ah! Come on. Not too bad. Ah! Darn it, Brandon. Darn it. Uh, it's not my fault. It's Mary. Ah! I don't even know if her- Ah! I'm going backwards! I don't even know if her name's actually Mary. It's probably not, but I'm gonna blame Mary for that mistake. What does that do? Can I go up here? Okay, let's just keep climbing. Ah! Darn it, Brandon! What if I go this way? What if I jump on the bug? Oh, that doesn't seem to work. Wait, but I can go here and there. Aha! Aha! And I got the key! I got the key. I don't... Oh, no! Like I said, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. We are this close to getting a million subscribers. So subscribe to that channel right now. And I will see all of you in the next video.